Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. You know, this, um, this weather. So I'm in New Jersey and we just finished summer, which is totally, totally cool. But our fall uh, gets a little muggy earlier and it stays a little darker. Um, nothing compared to one of our favorite rhinos. I was on the Zoom with him yesterday, always from Sweden. And he's like, Aunt, yeah, our summers, you know, we see the sunrise at 11 p.m., but during the winters, we might have like three hours of sun during the day. And although it must be really cool to have sun still at 11 o'clock at night, um, I imagine during this time of year, it's probably not so much fun to only have sun, not so much fun to only have sun two or three hours. Nothing rhymes with that, but I was looking for it. Hey, Frida. So super super cool super super exciting monday we i feel like i say we go live all the time because there's so many components of everything we're doing you have rhino street going live over here you have rhino retirement going live over here but it's all the same thing right it's all along the same path and um yeah no beautiful backdrop thank you brian um it's all for the same thing so i was talking to my team earlier today and i said guys Starting Monday, our coin goes live. It's trading, it's publicly traded. I go, I don't know how this changes anything, but my number one concern, the reason for everything going forward that I'll be doing is the coin price, everything. Um, and they go, well, what does that mean? And I go, I actually don't know what that means, right? Like, I don't know if there'll ever be a moment where Oh, I, I usually did it this way, but since the coin, now we do it that way. Like, that doesn't sound like a thing to me because we've always ran Rhino from the heart. There is no filter. I mean, obviously, like, I'm trying to move my head in front of the sun behind me. There's no filter with anything in Rhino. And every part of Rhino has been built from heart, right? Like, how can we, if it were me, what would I like? type of thing, right? Which is why no one's been charged for anything ever, right? You've been able to invest, but no one's ever been charged for anything, um, except for like Rhino Digital and Rhino Traffic, those were years ago. Um, so we've always done it with the interest of those that we're with, because it was, what was it? The realization that came to us that how can, and it really bothered me with small business services and firms, hey, you pay us this much and we're gonna help you. It's like, well, I need help to get money so you me giving you the little bit of money I have and then if it doesn't work, then what like you just go on to the next person and I said here. I never agreed with that now, of course, from a business perspective. Um, you know that's not exactly the best way to make money per se, because we haven't made money for two years. But I wouldn't trade it for the world I feel really comfortable where we are, but getting back to that point. I need everyone to know this. That coin price is my report card. I know this. If the coin goes up, Anthony's doing well. If the coin goes down, Anthony's not doing well. If you ever want to know how I'm feeling during the day, take a look at the coin price, right? Now, all of that being said, I don't mean to offer that with some type of Wow, there's, it sounds like there's a lot of um, a lot of components that could happen, like a lot of variables, a lot of unknown. It's actually the opposite, right? So we stand ready to purchase any coin that is even a cent under what the scheduled price is. Now, as you've seen in every email, today's with dollar twenty-three. It's been as low as a dollar, and for those that got into Rhino December of two thousand twenty-one, um, you remember when we did our when we were just thinking about thinking and we did it for a penny and then February was what two cents then March was three cents was a cent a month. So there are a lot of people in Rhino that have made a lot of money, at least on paper some have cashed out and, and we've we've uh, we've paid all distributions. Um, but on paper this people that have like a million coin or 2 million coin or I think someone has 5 million coin right like people took uh, advantage of the opportunity, which is great. Um, so that being said, the whole, the whole structure of this market is that two things, two things can be true simultaneously. The coin is worth more than it's being sold for, and you can buy it for the price it's being sold for while knowing it's worth more money. 
Now, it seems like those two things don't jive with each other, but they do. And here's how that works. So we have a scheduled price. It's a, it's a staircase step up. So 123 today will be 124, tomorrow will be 125, Sunday, and so forth and so forth, which means Monday will be 126. Now you might say, well, Ant, how does it not go under 126? What if a whole bunch of people sell? Well, that's why Rhino has the reserves from all the money that came in that we can go ahead and buy it if the price ever gets at 125, which means we put a limit order. We tell the market, if Rhino Bucks gets to 125, we want to buy, and we want to buy as much as we can with all the money we have. Now, Ant, how do you know you have enough money? Well, because all the coin that we're distributing out, all the coin that anyone will receive, they already invested in. They gave us that money, meaning we have that money sitting there in an account that can go ahead and buy for anyone that's looking to sell. All right, Ant, well, what if, what if, okay, I don't think 100% of people are going to sell, right? And if they do, we might have a little issue, but even then, I think we could cover 95% of it, like all the money sitting there. So I don't foresee that happening. Well, Ant, how can you say that? Well, to step up, why would anyone sell at 126 when they could sell the next day at 127 or sell the next day at 128, right? Well, Ann, how can you be sure that it's going to go up? Like, where's the demands coming from? The whole Rhino program is weekly commitments, right? Instead of me saying to anyone, hey, listen, you want to make a $10,000 investment in Rhino, I say, well, why don't you go ahead and do $20 a week? And you're like, $20 a week? I, I, can, I can do that forever. You know, I could do that. I could do that till I die. That's the point. People are infinite. The second they're not infinite, it's because the world, the world blew up, right? As long as the world is spinning, people are on it. Therefore, people are infinite. And if people are infinite, their transactions are infinite, right? Because you're going to be doing, you're going to buy a, a stick of bubblegum, right? At like 95 years old, you're always going to be buying something. Therefore, if you were able to take that truth and capture it into an asset, well, that might be the best asset ever. Like who wouldn't want to invest in that? That's what Rhino Bucks is. You see, we're ripping out our hair, going crazy, trying to grow horizontally. And, you know, there are a lot of people that email me and call me. I've, I've taken a couple of phone calls about uh, the numbers lately. Anthony, it's just not moving up as high as we wanted. Anthony, the average price is coming down. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. And of course, I put those numbers out not to pat myself on the back. I put those numbers out so everyone always knows the numbers, right? Like, those are the numbers. That's not Anthony putting out numbers like, hey, I want you to see this today. No, it's Anthony saying, this is what we're doing, right? Like, if they're good, great. If they're bad, we all know together, like, it needs to be solved, which is goes to the question of when people say, well, you know, I, how can I feel certain with my money? Can, can it be safe? Well, yeah, you're an educated adult. You see the numbers every day. If you don't think it's a good investment, then you get it out. But I can promise you Apple and Microsoft don't sit there and show you their numbers every day. Like we're doing something that's completely unprecedented because I've always said, I don't own this. I'm just stewarding it. I'm saying everyone, let's get together and go. So, but what does it mean to grow horizontally? Because the goal is to have like a billion people all part of this because people are infinite and their transactions are infinite. So if you could go ahead and get us, if you could go ahead and educate them to invest a small portion of that, you then create the asset that's now investable and you can own that because you're investing in it. You're investing in what you're creating. I know that sounds cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I can promise you there will be a day where people look back at this and say, how did we not see that? Like, what is a world without social security, right? No one knew what social security was before 1934, but then they did, right? Like, it, it, it reminds me of a Steve Jobs call where they're like, oh, Mr. Jobs, you, how can you have no money in R&D? And Mr. Jobs said, because people don't know what they want. They know it when they see it. And there's no amount of research that can teach someone to know something without seeing it that they want it. And then he created the iPhone. In what world did anyone know of a phone that you could touch and like expand screen? Like that didn't, and that did not exist. Rhino did not exist until it did exist. And now that everyone has the numbers, everyone can see what's going on. Everyone can feel comfortable. We're in this together. We're doing it together. Um, so growing horizontally is the key, right? If I can go at and so here's the difficult part, right? And I was thinking last night, like, all right, well, if I just want a bunch of $1 accounts to start, I could probably do some type of social media thing. I could probably go to a college and say, hey, listen, I'll, I'll buy beers if you do the one. 
And the problem with all of that stuff is what makes Rhino special is that everyone in it is fully educated on what they're in. It's not something where it's like, all right, well, I got this thing for a dollar. I don't even know what it is. Um, yeah, but I, I don't need that. Like, get out of here. That's not the interest of Rhino. We can inflate numbers as much as we want. I can go ahead and invest $10,000 tomorrow, run a whole bunch of ads and have those numbers balloon out of control. But that's not what we're ever going to do. So the people that were brought on are very special, right? Like all those new $20, uh, all those new $30, $21 accounts are all people whose friends and family are currently in Rhino. Those are people whose, whose friends and family who have been in Rhino for over two, three years have said to them, listen, if you could ever just trust me on one thing, please trust me on this and get in. And they said, okay, I'll dip my toe in for a dollar. That person's worth more to me than the 22 year old frat boy that, you know, because I bought him a beer, he said, all right, I'll go sign up. And that's not to cast aspersion on him. He's a, he's a great guy by all accounts. He's, he seems pretty cool, but he's not going to be one that is going to say, all right, I'm in Rhino and this is like, I need to, no, he's going to look at the next girl in the skirt and say, oh, see you later, Rhino, which is fine. That's what he should do. We need people to procreate. It's almost like Facebook one account, one person, one person one vote. Yeah, it does. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm already admitted over, um, but I do want to say to you, Things are going to go wrong next week, right? Like we're bracketing a market that's never been happened and inventing it to launch it Monday. Um, so just know that we're going to be okay, right? Like we're going to, whatever happens Monday, we're going to absorb it, solve it for Tuesday and whatever happens Tuesday and so forth and so forth till Friday, it's perfect, right? Uh, please post, I will. Actually, we're posting all the replays now because we're out of, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E-G-L. I don't want to say the word out. Oh. <laughs> the only reason I didn't want to say it out loud was because they transcribe it. But if I just spelt it out loud, I'm such a dad, right? Like I have a kid. He doesn't know how to spell, but then again, he doesn't know how to talk either. All right, um, this is where Anthony goes off course. Uh, but I will post this, but just know next week, nothing's going to go perfect. But we'll get through it. And this is what it looks like to be part of a ground floor. Like I wrote an article the other day entitled education and the education that if your father was Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk or one of those guys, the education you would receive is not that they're super smart, is that they would tell you how companies actually come to be. Elon Musk will tell you that he actually laid on the factory floor and slept there for three years in a row. Mark Zuckerberg will tell you he lost his girlfriend, was the biggest joke and, and dork, had no friends, and just sat there crying over his ex while he's sitting there coding computer stuff. Like, these people would tell you, like Howard Schultz, Howard Schultz of Starbucks would tell you he went to 242 banks with his Starbucks presentations up all night the night before, putting it together, showing it to his mom, showing it to his father to be turned down that the 243rd bank finally said yes. It's a good story to tell, but when you're actually living it, who here would go to 242 banks with 242 presentations? I don't think you would. It reminds me of when I was working in Wall Street, and I'll, I'll let you go with this. The manager, and I'll always remember this, comes out and goes, raise your hand if you would do anything for a million dollars. And everyone raised your hand, like, duh, why not? And in each, every single person, he said the things that they wouldn't do. You wouldn't stay after five o'clock because you go to the bar for happy hour. You don't come in on Saturdays because your children have soccer practice. You don't, you don't come in at 8 a.m. because you say you, um, you, know, you take your wife to work or something, right? Like he started point, you take our lunches so you're not here working as hard as the others are. You don't come in at three in the morning and start by calling Europe to go ahead and get a, a leg up on what others are not doing in the US. And he went, um, can we sell coin and then reinvest into Rhino Weekly? I feel like that's like um, money from left pocket to right pocket type of thing. Um, let me think about that because I, I actually, it's not calculating in my head. Um, but the point of the story is there's things that you have to do if you want to be in one of those companies and those children know it because their parents shared their experience with them. People such as you and, and, and me to an extent, I mean, obviously we're here, but like the normal people have been taught that success is all right. If it didn't work, move on. Oh, did you try your hardest? Okay. That's okay. Oh, that person's lucky. It's, it's my privilege. It's, it's some kind of privilege. No, you, you can't listen. Don't dream that big or give away things for free. What are you crazy? 
Like we did um, a thing, uh, clear the list on Twitter. We donated $23,000 to 238 different stranger teachers. And I can't even tell you how many people are like, Anthony, what'd you get out of that? I go, I don't know what I got out of it. I really don't. And maybe one day it will be proven that we've got nothing. But there is also a chance that one of those teachers or someone that noticed or someone somewhere something will look back and say, I don't know who these rhino people are. And if I'm going to make this decision and someone's going to say, well, actually, why don't you take a look at this? And they'll say, what, what, yeah, what did they get out of this? I'm sure they, like, no, nothing. They, they actually just did it. They did it really quietly. And that's who rhino is. And that person is married to a teacher. And the teacher goes, you should be with them. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I don't know that's not going to happen. And I know that if you do, if you lead with your heart and do everything in the, in the mind of the person you're doing it for and not yourself, the rest will take care of itself. So with that, please um, have the best day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's not like we don't do a Saturday live, um, but next week's going to be exciting. And I'll tell you the biggest fear I have, that this is going to go much faster than, than I'm prepared for. Because I'm talking about managed market and schedule this and that. Maybe there's someone that's like, all right, and we put a consortium together of like a billion dollars. We're going to blow it out of the water. And all these accounts that you have are just going to run it up. And you know what? We'll do it that way. Do you know if someone had that money, they could do that? So I don't know. All I know is that we are going to get there. Like, that's not my concern. The path is already there. It's when we get there, will we be smart enough to know when to pivot, how to pivot, and the things that we'll need to do at that point. So I'm seven minutes over. I love y'all. I currently don't know where I'm going. Um, yeah, no, uh, listen, anything you need, I'll, the answer's yes. Um, love everyone and have a great Friday. Bye.